welcome to today's meeting. I'm Mike White with Vision 33. And what we're going to take a look at today is William IT's uh, latest release of the B1 usability package and the uh, addition of the B1 dashboards. Really a nice feature that the uh, William IT team has made available to SAP Business One. So in order to get this to work, well, let me back up a bit. This is for Microsoft SQL deployments. Now you can load the latest BOYAM release on HANA deployments, but in the case of HANA, you're using uh, pervasive analytics. And so with Microsoft SQL deployments, this B1 dashboard uh, literally gives you HANA type analytics and KPIs for the Microsoft SQL deployments of SAP Business One. So it's uh, really a, a neat solution. Uh, the install is, is very, very easy. It's your basic upgrade to SAP Business One. So you would go through the normal upgrade process for the B1 usability package. And to turn on the B1 dashboards, it's a simple checkbox. And this will enable the B1 dashboard functionality. The second step you need to do is then tag which users will have access to the B1 dashboards. Um, this also works at the user group level as well. There's uh, one other step that's important, and that is you do need to disable your, uh, you know, my cockpit. So this replaces SAP Business One's uh, cockpit mode, and it really puts SAP back into its uh, it, its core uh, its core menu structure, where you've got your modules, drag and relate, and my menu. Um, I kind of like this because it, SAP runs extremely fast when you have the cockpits disabled. And um, B1 usability package upgrade does a great job of uh, providing new concept to the whole uh, cockpits. And so I have it loaded. And what we see across the top are a list of my cockpits. So I have a sales cockpit, a purchasing cockpit, a finance cockpit, service, production, inventory, opportunities. Um, these are all cockpits that come with the B1 usability, B1 dashboards. And so when you enable your dashboards, you get all of these already set up for you uh, out of the box. And then you can tailor them and, uh, and create your own, your own cockpits and your own dashboards and widgets. So what we're going to do, just to give you an idea of how this works, is let's start by creating a brand new cockpit. So as you can see, I've got a number of cockpits across the top. And uh, there's a little icon on the far right that gives me access to B1 dashboards. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to go into the settings. Now the settings will show me exactly what cockpits I have, and how do I want those handled as far as refreshing the data in the cockpits. So I've got, you know, mine are disabled, which means that typically I'll just hit the refresh button and it will redisplay all of my analytics. But I can also set this uh, at certain frequencies so my cockpit will automatically refresh at whatever frequency I want. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to add a new cockpit, and to keep it simple, we're simply going to call this home. This will be my, my home cockpit. Now, when you log into SAP Business One, what it's going to do is it's going to take you to the very first cockpit you have listed. So I'm going to move my home cockpit all the way up to be the very first cockpit that is displayed as soon as I log in to SAP Business One. And so we'll hit the Update button and confirm our changes. So now what we've done is we've created this, this brand new cockpit. And as you can see, it's empty. I don't have anything in it. And so if I want to populate it, there's several things I can do. One of those is I could go into my widget gallery. So if I select Add a New Widget, then there are some predefined dashboards that come with Business One. And I, I wouldn't really call them dashboards. They're, really, they're, they're overviews. They're a combination of dashboards and KPIs. So I can take any of these standard delivered dashboards. I might also want to uh, add some widgets like um, you know, an open items list. 
So let's go ahead and let's add an open items list. We'll bring that in. This is really a neat uh, a neat concept as well because the open items list is a is a pretty popular report in Business One as it gives me instant access to uh, all of my open documents in my business system. And it's nice having that as a widget in the cockpit. So real quickly, I can you know click and see exactly what do I have going on in my system. So that's a nice uh, uh, widget. Let's go ahead and let's add a, another widget. Let's go in and this time what we're going to do is uh, let's go in and let's add a um, let's add a world clock. So or we'll, we'll add a world map. And so we'll select that. This is going to display for me time zones uh, across the world. And so if you deal with companies or if your supply chain uh, is in multiple countries, this is a real nice way to uh, you know, ha have a good idea of, you know, should I call them now? Should I wait? Uh, what time is it over in Beijing and, and so forth? Uh, now we're going to go ahead and add a couple of more widgets. And we're going to add some widgets that are very unique to the B1 usability package. And those are called SQL widgets. And so let's grab the, uh, the uh, universal function. And we'll bring that into uh, the system. And we want to add a SQL report. So when I hit my drop down, this shows me a list of all of my uh, SQL reports that I've created in SAP Business One. And so one of those SQL reports is, is my contacts. And so we'll go ahead and select that SQL report. <clears throat> and now I've got a, a, a SQL widget that also has all of my contacts listed. And so uh, you get the idea. We can continue to add widgets and populate our home cockpit to be exactly what we want and how we want to see it. And so the last one is, let's add some common functions. And in the common functions, this works a little bit differently than the common functions in the normal SAP Business One cockpit. What this allows you to do is this gives you a, a little pop-up where you can come out here and, and select what it is you want to add. One of the nice things about this is it opens up other areas. It opens up things like tools and uh, you know different window views, um, help documentation, and so forth. So what we'll do in our common functions is we'll add the activity, the ability to real quickly log a phone call. And then I have a choice of icons. What type of icon do I want to add for this particular um, uh, uh, common function? And so in this case here, we'll add a phone. And so now I've got my first common function. And we'll go ahead and let's add a second one. We've got an activity. And then we might also take quotes. So we'll add the quote. And then we'll give that a, uh, an icon as well. And we can begin to populate our common functions however we want. So that's a real quick way to create a new cockpit and then populate it with uh, widgets. Now there's another capability in, in the uh, uh, B1 usability B1 dashboards. So let's go to a, an existing cockpit. But this particular one, has a, a, a set of dashboards already loaded. And so let's take a look at the dashboard designer. If we go into uh, add a new widget, on the bottom right hand side of the screen, this allows me to get into the dashboard editor. So this shows the different dashboards that I have that correlate to the, the options when I go to select a widget. And so if I want to edit an existing dashboard, I might pick something like, uh, we'll pick inventory here, and I'll select edit. Now this will take me into the dashboard editor. And the dashboard editor is very similar to pervasive analytics for any of you that have uh, had some experience on HANA deployments. So this is what the dashboard editor looks like. And it's uh, really a, a powerful tool. It allows me to resize. Uh, what my dashboards are going to look like, um, how they're going to display. If I want to add another dashboard into the mix, let's say a, a pie chart, um, then I can do that and just click, and uh, that'll add in a pie chart. And 
then I need to de define a data source. And so the way that I would do that is I would go to, to my data tab up here, I'm sorry, my data source tab, and I would add a query. So I could either take an existing query that I've got, and this is a drop down that says, okay, you've got a couple of different queries that populate your inventory, uh, your inventory uh, dashboard. Do you want to use one of these existing queries, or do you want to add a query? And if I select Add Query, this will bring up the query editor where I can uh, either uh, load in a stored procedure or I could uh, uh, create a query. And now I can also run the Query Builder. And the Query Builder is a tool that will allow me to uh, real quickly look, you know, have access to all of the tables in Business One. And then based on these tables, I uh, have the ability to select the, the different fields and objects that I that I want to see. In this case here, we'll just use a standard query that we've got. And what we want to do is, why don't we grab um, one of the values that's going to be on hand, and the argument might be um, the item group name. And so this shows me now in my pie chart, what is the value of my inventory based on uh, each individual item group. And so if I, if I like this pie chart, I, again, I can size it and put it anywhere I want to put it. Let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's save our change. And now we could close the dashboard editor and select OK and OK. And then what we'll do is um, in here, we will go ahead and we could either refresh uh, my dashboard area. Um, or we could go into settings and, and you know, make some changes and, and refresh it that way as well. So we'll go into settings uh, because the other thing that I also want to do is I want to change the position of my inventory cockpit. I want to move it up before production. So we'll go ahead and we'll select the, uh, the inventory cockpit and then we'll uh, move it up. Okay, this all looks good. Select OK, get rid of that message there, here we go, inventory. Let's move this up uh, right above production, select update, and this will also cause the cockpits to refresh. And now what we're going to see, again it takes us to our home cockpit, and when we go back to the inventory cockpit, we're going to see our changes. And so here is the inventory value. Uh, on hand summary by product group. So it's real easy to uh, add dashboards, to uh, add gauge charts, graphs, reports, uh, SQL reports, all kinds of things. It, this gives you a real nice dashboard editing tool and the installation of the uh, B1 usability package for anybody who's installed it is literally minutes. It just takes minutes to install. So hopefully this gives you a pretty good idea of the new feature in B1 Usability Package called B1 Dashboards. Thanks for watching.